what's up we are back with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video in my channel which is in your channel we're gonna be talking about hourglass I have right here their new palette that just released a couple of days ago I don't know what's going on with hourglass they're doing some shady shit they literally have to stop but we have a lot to discuss guys Keep on watching. Mwah. I found out Hourglass was releasing a new palette. No question asked. Eyes closed. I went and purchased the palette right away. A couple of hours after, I found out through friend that these shades, they are already existing shades from previous palettes. I have them. You have them. We all have them. Why is Hourglass doing this? What? Of course, I love the brand. I trust them. I'm not going to read the whole description and details and names and go into all that because in my mind, I already know that they have a good products that is top quality. It's like they literally lost my trust. From now on, everything that I buy from Hourglass, I have to read and read the names and compare and do all that homework before I purchase anything else from our this is something you don't do you don't keep releasing the same shade or the same product lying to us telling us or making us believe that there are a new palettes or new shades and all that and another note I might maybe given the benefit of the doubt understand what they did what they did and I'm not giving no excuses listen here Let's say that they wanted to put the three shades that we like the most in one palette because we don't have those three shades in one palette. We have them in different palettes. All right, fine, you did that. But you have to let people know. You have to let us know, hey, this is the volume palette number two. It is existing shades, but now we have them all in one palette. Great, there is gonna be people that they do want all those shades in one palette because it's just more convenient for them. But at the same token, you're going to piss people off. The majority of people, they're going to get aggravated because you don't make them waste their money. You know that. So it's like Hourglass know that the majority of people, they're not going to notice it and then they're going to end up buying the product. And that is so fucked up, guys. Like, they literally, I feel that they're like straight up getting us. Like, they're just robbing us in our faces and we're not noticing it we don't need all these palettes with the same shade guys my hair it is not cooperating with me it's just let's ignore it plus i'm cold it's cold in here i'm in miami and i am not used to the cold so when it's cold here i'm like oh cozy and all right so besides that in our glass website they had this goddess stunning dark skin complexion woman where is she at because they definitely didn't use this palette on her at all at all when i saw her in my mind i'm like damn hourglass is coming through for the dark skin complexion if it shows on her it's definitely gonna show up on me i definitely need this palette being like so I hate when people make me feel like I'm stupid like because I bought the palette and I didn't notice it so here's the palette if you have the volume number two you have the shade in the middle and if you have the unlock palette from 2019 you have these two shades if you have those two palettes you definitely don't need this palette but that's not the only one if you have this one that it just came out i think maybe like two months ago on the holidays if you have this palette you have two of the shades from this new one you have the bronzer and this one which it will be this two right here a little, i feel a little bit of release that i only have this palette do you imagine the people that have this palette the volume number one the unlock from 2019 and that they bought this palette mm. let me swatch this for you right here in the back of my hand so you can see the swatches you know these powders they don't really show that that much but all right guys so this is the shades this is the bronzer and the other two powders right here 
Yeah, the bronzer is pigmented, but that's not gonna show in a deep complexion like the models, a skin complexion at all. Let's be honest. Now let me swatch the bronzer that I have in this palette that is supposed to be, that is the same name as the one in the new palette. They're the same. They are the same. So I did some swatches right here, only of the bronzers. I wanna see if you can see what I'm seeing. So this one, it is the new bronzer. And this one, it is from the Holiday Palette. The new bronzer, it is a little bit more orange than the one from the Quad Guys. It's not that much of a difference either for us to buy the same powders with the same names and all that. If there is like a slight difference, literally by a hair on their undertone, but they still are the same powders. So now let me get you up close. Let's try this powder on the face. I'm gonna be trying this one on one side of the face. Let's put this one from the Holiday Palette in the other side and let's just I'm see. I'm gonna be using my hourglass brush. And first, I'm gonna start with, I don't have no powder on my face. I put on my foundation and only set my under eyes with a little bit of the Pomegranate um, powder. And let's start with this one, which is the lightest shade. And I'm gonna be placing this under my eye. This is what the magic of this powder, this formula is I. As you can see in this eye, it is the eye that I have the powder and this one is the one without it. This eye looks like I have a filter, it looks so smooth. This under eye is like a little bit more so thin and you see the difference, look. For this eye, I'm gonna be using the Holiday Palette, same brush with the lighter shade. I always like to place it down my nose. The lightest shade in both of the spotlights, which is called Soft Light, they're looking identical, exactly the same, same texture, same shade, everything the same, they are the same. Now we're gonna go with the shade on the middle with the bigger side of the brush. And I'm gonna be placing this in my whole face like a buffing technique this powder it's really good for the buffing technique for a finishing powder you can create different effects depending on how you do it you can mix them all together or you can spray your brush so you can intensify your powder that will give you a beautiful also guys, if you mix them all together, they're gonna give you a beautiful, beautiful effect. And now let's go in with that bronzer. I really wanna see how deep this bronzer is. I'm gonna be using my NARS Ida brush. And then after that, I'm gonna be using my Cheek Pro from Sonia G. this side with the same brush but with the holiday palette and let's see which one is more pigmented or if they're the same exact thing. I'm gonna grab my cheek pro from Sonia G and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this bronzer right here and let's see. Now let me go on this side with the new palette. Alright guys, I mean, this is what we have. It's not gonna get darker than this. 
this is the size with the new palette this is what we have and this is the size of the holiday palette they're the same exact thing guys the same the same the same exact things like i told you before i am peeping that this side with the new palette it is like a little bit more orangey this side looks a little bit more neutral but guys same thing same pigmentation nothing changed let me zoom you in a little bit and then after that i'm just gonna I guess give you my final top of I don't even know why reviews that I already reviewed before and I'll be back all right babe so you already saw the application part of this video I hope I put you on to game don't buy this palette they are the same extra shades before you buy anything from Hourglass, make sure you read the names, the description, do your homework. And that's the same exact thing that I'm going to be doing from now on. I am not buying nothing from Hourglass without doing my homework and making sure that it's not something that I already have. Go through the palettes that you already have of Hourglass. See if you have the shades before you buy this new palette i totally recommend you to spend your money on one of these two palettes from the holiday collection i love this palette you're getting the bronzer the blush the highlighter and one of the finishing powders for the same price as the new palette or you can get for 20 something dollars more this one which i have one of my favorite blushes i love this blush it's so vibrant so pretty you get the three powders the bronzer and two blushes this is so worth it it is definitely my favorite palette from hourglass so far and what a letdown what a disappointment for real from hourglass i really hope that they finally come through with more shades for everybody's skin complexion so everybody can really enjoy this beautiful palette with this beautiful formula we all deserve to try them on to like them to love them but not with the way hourglass is playing like really shady and it's just not a good look Thank you again guys for another great video let me know what do you think about all the situation with hourglass do you feel me do you feel the same way let me know in the comment section down below i love you so damn much and i see you on the next one Mwah. bye babes